Hi, my name is Patrick, and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in Mindful Test Prep. Coming at you today with an SAT math question. This was question 19 in section 3, the no calculator section, on the SAT that was administered in April of 2017. Right there, you can pause the video, pause it, take a few moments to try it yourself, and then unpause the video and watch the explanation. Could be good. You know, learning. Because <sighs> we're getting in there. It reads, an angle with a measure of 7 pi over 6 radians has a measure of d degrees where 0 is less than or equal to d, which is less than 360. What is the value of d? So we're talking about a little bit of a radians into degrees question. Okay, well dubs t f is a radian. Perhaps you're familiar with the unit circle, where we usually deal with angles in terms of radians rather than degrees. And in the unit circle you learn that a full circle is 2 pi radians, because the circumference of a circle with a radius of 1 is 2 pi. Half a circle, or 180 degrees, would just be pi radians. So pi is 180 when you're talking about transferring from radians to degrees. Okay, so then we can set this up as a simple part over whole proportion. We have 7 pi over 6 over pi, right, equals some number over 180. Because pi and 180 are equivalent, so these two numerators have to be equivalent as well. 7 pi over 6 over pi, well, we can cancel off the pi's, so this becomes 7 over 6 over 1, or just 7 over 6, equals x over 180. So we're going to want to multiply both sides by 180. 180 times 7 over 6. We could multiply 180 times 7 and then divide it by 6, but we don't have our calculators right now, and that sounds like kind of a bummer. Perhaps it would be simpler to say, all right, well, what is 180 divided by 6? It's not so bad. It turns out to be 30. Same as 18 divided by 6, and then you just tack on the 0 at the end. So now we have 30 times 7 equals x. 3 times 7 would be 21. Add that 0 on the end, and you have 210. So x is 210 degrees. Some students feel a bit overwhelmed by questions like this because they're not 100% confident that they have a full grasp on what radians are. But in this case, we didn't even need that. As long as we know that pi radians is the same as 180 degrees, we were able to set up a proportion where we knew three of the quantities and solve for that last one, the angle in degrees, 210. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel or like the video or, I don't know, send it to your mom or something. If you have any questions about this or any other problem, feel free to hit me up in the comments below or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick and this has been Prep Mindful.